Okay, so here's the house. It is on a, on a, well, it's not on a corner lot, but it's the second house in from a corner. And I will just let um, yeah. you talk about the house. So we're gonna have stone, stone right here on this, around this middle window. And, and this that's kind what's of, right here, right? That's, yeah, correct, that's stone. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of the house will be brick. We've moved to four-sided brick. Nice. So you have brick on all four sides. Pre-plumbed for a water softener? Pre-plumbed for a water softener. So a two-car garage right here. And then we're going to walk in. You're going to have a little mudroom space right here. Kind of a little bench where you can take your shoes off. Oh, this like is like that. the mudroom? Yeah, right here. One thing I want to, I will interrupt here and there. One thing that Perry is known for is the amount of wood that they put into these homes. Correct. They, they, they sometimes overbuild their homes to, like, even million-dollar Plus, builders don't even build them as strong as a Perry home. Correct. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. And if we ever have, like, a piece of lumber that's questionable, like, it doesn't look like it's 100% strong enough, strong enough they're going to back it up with another one. So you may see, like, two things back-to-back. -back. Other builders don't do that, even though we're using tree lumber. So this is one of the guest bathrooms right here. The so one as soon downstairs. as you come in the garage, you can go into the restroom mm -hmm. if you need to. Full bathroom, tub-shower combo, and toilet. This is the guest bedroom, the first one that's downstairs. Walk-in closets, really, in every bedroom that we have, even the guest bedrooms. Nice. And what is this water line for? That is for the, um, well, this right here is going to be for the gas range. Okay. And then your fridge is going to be over there. Okay. So you'll have a fridge, cabinets, Stuff like that right here, overhead cabinets, lower cabinets. Kitchen island right here, the sink is gonna be in the island. Uh, quartz countertop, eat in, you know, you'll be able to put bar stools, stuff like that here. Um, pantry, you know, pretty decent sized pantry. And then like I said, the range and the built-in range and microwave and the gas cooktop will be over here. Okay. So one of the coolest things about this house to me is how it opens up to the second story. Yes. So very open, lots of natural light, lots of windows. Perry is known, Mr. Perry, when he started the company, was known for wanting a lot of windows in the house. Um, and so, you know, we're continuing that tradition today. The only homes, the only windows that open are the ones in the bedrooms and that's for safety concerns, correct? Correct, yeah. Yeah, these, look at the, the width of these beams that they put in there. I mean, they are just yeah. solid. Um, it's just layer and layer and layer and layer and layer put together. Right. Um, do you know if this is going to have the same wrought iron handrails as the one that's on the video, or you don't know? It can I have to double check. I know it's going to have handrails right here, but I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same. So okay. I just need to double check that. So coming back out here, this is uh, the covered back patio. It's a good size back patio. And I don't know if you can see those orange stake lines. You can see kind of where the property line is going to come There's across. There's a stake right in there. I can zoom in on it right there. Yeah, and uh, I had talked about this a little bit before, but these lots behind are going to be four lots, bigger lots. So you're not going to have houses stacked up right behind you, but those will be the last ones that they do in the development. Okay. So, coming back into the master right here. I was going to say something real quick. I, yeah. I sold a house like this. It was a Perry home. And what the people that bought it did is they put like an outdoor kitchen out here. This mm -hmm. is big enough that they have like an outdoor small fridge, yeah. a sink, the, the ice, uh, the, the I, I don't remember what else they had, but they had, um, you know, the, 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 the nice stove and all mm -hmm. this stuff. And then they usually hang like a television on this wall. Yep. You'll have an outlet that comes standard on this wall for a TV if you want it. Yeah, so it's it's really, really nice. What it, This is gonna be brick as well or stucco anywhere? Brick. Everything's gonna be brick, yeah. okay. This is the eight foot door, so we made the eight foot doors, your back door. A uh, little bit of a private entryway here into the master. Do you know the, she was asking if the, the width and the length of this master? Yes, I actually just took a, a screenshot of that. Let me see here. This one is a 
17 by 13 master. 17 feet by 13 feet, okay. And what are these, eight foot or nine foot, 10 foot? 10 foot ceilings. Nice. And eight foot doors, so you'll have another eight foot door right here. Those eight foot doors make the house seem more grand as well. It does, it does. Okay, so I'll be walking in the double vanity on the right. Correct. And then right here will be the, 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 tub, the tub. And, and then, then the shower, and this is a bigger shower uh, than the standard ones that come in our houses. And then you'll have his, her closets. Now, will this be a step in, a step down shower? Or will it be flush when it's all said and done? I believe it's a slight step down, just not as drastic as the one, what you see right now. Okay. Once they finish it out. Okay, and there's a water closet right there. Yeah. All right, very good. Again, very open. We'll come up here to the front. This isn't the finishing door. It's going to have a nicer door than yes, that. Yes, it is. It'll have a six, six panel, um, like really, you know, the handles lower. Then you have the six panels that go up, um, windows that are kind of frosted a little bit. You know, it's got like a rain look to it. But this is the utility room. To the laundry area. I like that it's big enough for your any size machine you want, and you could even, it's going to have cabinets in here as well. I'd have to double check that. I, I, I'm, I believe so, but I just need to double check it. Okay, and I, I like the fact that you can put an ironing board in here if you yep. wanted to. You have plenty of room. Yeah. Little coat closet right here. Nice. Double doors to your office too, right up here at the front. And this is going to have those French doors that you see on that video. Correct. Walk through. This is a big office. Yeah, it's a really good sized office. It's uh, 10 by 12. So, I mean, you could use it for an office or a game room or... You could put a Murphy bed in there also. Yeah, make a room if you want. Have it as a guest area. Would you tell uh, Lori a little bit and her husband about the home warranty that you guys offer? Yeah, so we have an industry leading two year warranty um, and a 10 year structural warranty. So the two year really is the big thing. Uh, 10 year is pretty standard, but the two year. So the same crew that does the warranty work on your house is the same crew that builds it. So. The reason that we do that is because our crews are going to take a lot more pride in what they build. Um, you know, put a lot more care and a lot more time, but we do that for two years. They also give you a call at six months, a year and a year and a half, I think, even if you're not having any problems, um, just to see if there's maybe some small items that uh, need to be addressed. They need to be addressed um, and they'll come out and fix them. So really, really good warranty. Um, also too, when you do, if you're down here um, or Mr. Raina's down here doing your, we don't call it a walkthrough, we call it a demo because the idea is that when you do go through the house, all it is going to be is showing you how to use certain things in the home and that you won't be able to find any sort of things that need to be touched up because they take a lot of pride in that. Everything they, they install for you too is top of the line. For example, a good friend of mine bought a Perry home and I cannot even tell when his dishwasher is on. I cannot yeah. hear it for anything. Yeah. Yeah. We use GE appliances, you know, so just, just a little thing there. Um, and another thing too is I'm a large man and on second floors it's notorious that you'll hear creaks and stuff. These homes are built so solid you don't know that you're not on a slab right now. Correct. So this is the game room up here. You're going to have a little door right there you'll see to go to storage. Okay. You want some storage right there. Is that also where the HVAC is? The HVAC is going to be over there. Okay. The so this is strictly storage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so again, you're going to have the windows up here, windows right there, guest two rooms, um, and guest bathroom right here. This is the guest bathroom. And this is going to be a double vanity as well. I thought I saw it on the video, but it may, may be a single. I need to double check. Okay. To be 100% sure. Um, there's also going to be more storage back here, too. So there's a door through the closet, so you can go in, and then there's going to be more storage. Okay. Very good. Very nice. 
Um, another thing too is our home comes standard with a lot of smart features. So you're gonna get a Nest thermostat, the smart thermostat, um, a uh, digital lock for your front door with the code, um, a uh, Wi-Fi garage door opener, two of them, and Wi-Fi smart switches um, as well for the lights and stuff like that. So. What's the next major thing that's going to be happening on the house? Do so you think it's going to be the brick, the rock, more? Oh, electric. Most, oh, electric, okay. and then so they're going to do the electric, the HVAC, and then the plumbing and finish out the plumbing. And then once that's been done, usually that's when they start taking steps toward cheap rock. Gotcha. So uh, if I remember correctly, the electric on this one is scheduled for sometime next week. Okay, so, so it's progressing well. Yeah, and then we usually give the, the electrician about two days and then the plumbing. Okay, great. We do have a weekly construction meeting with the crews that are building the house. And uh, we do give you a call on Mondays every week to update on the construction of the house, where it's at, have there been any little delays or hiccups, or are we progressing ahead of schedule, and just the construction people will also get your email and send you photos, update you, stuff like that. So we're big on communication. Very good. Anything else that you think that you might need to tell them? Mm. Nothing. I look forward to having another neighbor. I'm born and raised here in New Braunfels, so <laughs> I'm a little bit biased toward the area, but you know, so you know the area is great. Well, Laurie, um, uh, I will uh, ask if there's any other homes that he thinks we should see, but this is a, definitely one that is a, 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 seems to meet all your needs, with the exception of the three-car garage.